All right, good morning, everybody. You can see it's dark. Sun's just coming up over my shoulder there. We're going to head out today and do a four-wheel drive run again. It is the week before Christmas. Uh, going to be 80 degrees today, so it's going to be absolutely gorgeous. Nice day to run across the desert and do a little wheel and get some dirt therapy. I'm uh, going to do Vulture Mine Trail out by uh, Wickenburg today. Uh, it's a level five trail, so moderate. Uh, a few challenging areas, but going to be a nice ride overall. So. We're going to get going in a few minutes, we're going to top off the gas tank, pick up a few snacks, and then uh, go meet up with the rest of the group. And uh, have a fun day today, hopefully. Alright, so we topped off with gas, got a couple of snacks for the trail. And now we're heading up the US 60 here, Grand Avenue toward Wickenburg. Going under the Loop 303, which is the outermost loop uh, in West Phoenix metro area. And we have 16 miles to get to our meeting place, which is Dylan's restaurant. A Wild West type uh, barbecue place and rodeos there and all kinds of stuff, which we may stop and have dinner after we run the trail, but that's the meeting place, a nice landmark to meet up with everybody. That's where we met when we did the last uh, trail ride out that way. Um, met up in the parking lot and then ran along the uh, easement, a dirt road along the easement, along the freeway here, and uh, ran that up the road that takes us to the trailhead. All right, so we're rolling up this service road here alongside 60 Grand Avenue and uh, in a couple miles we'll be at the trailhead um, five Jeeps total today so a nice group manageable I ended up being the leader so uh, <laughs> we'll see how this goes but I think we're gonna have fun nice day like I said gonna be going up to 80 this afternoon so it's gonna be a good good running day can't ask for much better in middle December, a week before Christmas. Uh, gonna be almost summer like, so. Uh, gonna have a good day, and when we get on the trail, I'll use the other GoPro and show you some of the scenery. Lots and lots of saguaro cacti. This is a, a perfect desert run today. All right, so we crossed the river and we are on the trail. Seems a little different from the last time I was out here. I'm not sure where the little rock garden was that we crossed the last time in the last video. And we have a muted sun today. It's a little bit of high cirrus cloud so it's not a super bright sun so that's actually pretty nice yeah we're not actually on the loop yet um, we'll be bare and right and taking the loop counterclockwise so we'll be in some washes we'll be in some hills some flat desert land um, a little bit of everything for everybody i think it'll get more interesting once we get on the loop um, right now like i said it's just kind of a a dirt road that meanders its way through these little hills. So as I said, once we turned off onto the loop itself, which we just did back there, it was going to get a little more interesting. And it has. And in this little wash here. Looks like we got a little bit of some rock obstacles. Nothing major, but it's a little bit more fun than that dirt road we were on back there a 
is a pretty fun trail. I like it. through a wash. If it were raining out, that'd probably have some water in it. Very pretty. Very pretty trail. Definitely an up and down and around the curves kind of trail. I didn't realize uh, it would be like this. It's kind of fun. Oh, this is going to be interesting. This one's going to be interesting. I'm going to lose sight of the road here for a little bit. So that steep downgrade was a little fun. That was about 22% downgrade. I, everything, my camera bag and everything that was on the uh, front seat ended up on the front floor. <laughs> I wasn't quite ready for that um, kind of a drop off. That was, that was pretty cool actually. We're coming up soon on a abandoned uh, stone structure. I guess it had something to do with the mining back in the day because this was all gold mining area out here um, I don't know what it was but and probably about a half a mile or so oh, right here it is all right here's the remnants of that stone cabin All right, so this is a uh, uh, what remnants of some kind of stone structure or cabin. I don't know. It had probably something to do with the mining. Um, there's no historical marker to go with it, but um, not exactly sure what it was. Maybe and you can see it's uh, been quite weathered. Um, not much left of it, just the walls. They come around this way, you might be able to see it better. Um, yeah, the roof had collapsed, and um, like I said, I don't know what it actually was, what kind of building it was, what purpose it served, but uh, it was out here, and this is mining country, so it probably had something to do with the mines, um, but it'd be nice if somebody would have thrown a historical marker up and said exactly what it was, but we'll never know, so we'll just have to guess. side of the road.
There's a concrete structure there that held up something. Wonder if there was a conveyor belt here at one time during the mines, that concrete pillar there. Nice climb here. All right, nice drop down into a tiny wash, and then we're gonna come right back up. We got some washouts here. Let's see how this goes. Easy peasy. Lots of saguaros in here again. Like a saguaro forest as we climb up this hill. Yeah, look at all these saguaros in here. This is cool. The signature of the Sonoran Desert and the signature of Arizona. The saguaro cactus, and there's a whole bunch of them here. There's a bit of a rough spot in there. Now look at the view now that we climbed that hill. Cool. definitely warming up outside I haven't gotten to a speed where my thermometer would kick in and tell me what the actual temperature is but I got both windows open right now and it's warm in here
trying to make sure we're still on the right trail. It looks like the onyx shows it going straight, but then there was a left cutoff. Yeah, we want to follow off this right right here. And right, I'm trying to watch where my blue dot is moving on the on the map. It looks like the, the path is very straight ahead of us to the left. We we'll speed back up, but uh, the main trail is off to the right like you're going. Look at that view. Look out over the desert valley, over the next mountain range. Cocotillo right here to our left that we're going by. I think somewhere down here we're going to turn into a major wash and we're going to run that for a little while before we cut back off onto a desert road. Yep, there's the wash. Now I've had the camera on for a while so let's hope it doesn't auto shut off on me before we turn into it. And we are still in the wash here. Kind of got to be careful because it's soft and you want to make a turn and it kind of snow plows a little bit. Little skates. You don't want to be hitting some of these little rock faces. You got to keep your momentum up but you don't want to go sliding into a rock. But we'll soon be coming out of it. Met up with two side by sides going the other direction a little ways back. because of the softness of the material and driving on it it gets a little bit choppy up here right quick we should be making a left hand turn I should be making a left turn out of the wash up here fairly soon Yeah, right here, I believe. Yep. That was a nice ride down the wash. Now we're back in the uh, desert hard terrain. Ooh, there's the road. Oh, look at the view here. Look at the view here. Miles, miles and miles of view. Beautiful. Man, 
it's just gorgeous up here. really is a cool trail down in some valleys up on some ridges through a couple of wash washes and you got a couple of little rock ledges to climb up or go down they're really kind of something for everybody unless all you like to do is go on hardcore rock crawl this is a nice trail All right, so we're back out on the uh, road that we came in on. So we completed the loop, and we're heading back to the river and then uh, back to Dylan's restaurant where we started and grab a bite to eat there and then they're up and head on home from there. So uh, it's 12.16 right now. We hit this trail probably about 9.30, so uh, about two and a half to three hours to do the loop, but we didn't break any speed records, obviously, and we stopped came off a break we probably took a half hour break and stood around and shot the bowl and uh, just enjoyed this nice weather so uh, it's about 75 degrees right now so it's just gorgeous uh, really muted sun though uh, kind of high cirrus cloud deck that's covered the area so you really don't have a lot of sun but it's just absolutely gorgeous day gorgeous day Who'd, you know, normal for, actually it's above normal. And it's probably about 15 degrees above normal to all said and done. Normal high temperature here in the Phoenix area in December is about 70. And we're going to be about I don't know, 65 to 70. I'm not exactly sure what the number is. So they said 10 to 15 degrees above normal today because we're going to be pushing 80 degrees. So, uh, but who doesn't like that? 80 is perfection, especially without humidity. It's nice and dry. Typical desert, dry air. And it's just flat out, comfortably gorgeous. So, but when we do the river crossing, I didn't show it to you coming in. So uh, when we get to the river crossing, I'll show it to you going out. All right, so there's the river ahead of us. And uh, the trail changed here. Um, I was thinking that when I came in, that somebody came in here and, and graded this trail out because there was a rocky area that we had to climb if you go back and watch my first vulture mine video it was a bit of a uh, rocky climb that you had to do here and uh, pick a line and it isn't here anymore so somebody came through here with a grader you can kind of see it with the ridge rows on the side All right, we got to open this gate. We're going to skip right out. Are you? Yeah. Thank you for the radio. Oh, you're welcome. Have a good pleasure. rest of your weekend. Nice to be able to run with you again sometime. Okay. <clears throat> the one from our group is uh, not going to go back to Dylan's with us. So, uh... He gave me my radio back. I have two radios and I loaned him one. So uh, he gave that back to me. So, all right. All right. Remember, last one out, turn out the lights and uh, close the door. Copy that. <laughs> all right. We are now in the soft sand of the Hacienda River. Ooh, kicking up some dust here and close my windows for a moment. Yeah, 
Yeah, this is a good flowing river when the uh, snow melts from the north or you get a good uh, couple inches of rain from a heavy rainstorm. But since it hasn't rained for a while, there is no water in it at all. It's completely dry from bank to bank. Yeah, right here is one of the river. And this is one of the water crossings when we came through here last time, right here. And then we came back up and dried off for a little bit here. And then, uh, right here was the other flow that we had driven through. So, but you can see it's completely dry now, so. So we're almost back to the restaurant. You see some cattle there in the pasture next to us. They're just watching us go by. <laughs> as soon as we get past this shed place, we'll be at the restaurant. It looks pretty crowded. I don't know if I'm gonna take my camera in or not. Got one vehicle coming out. Oh, let's see where we can park all together. All right, so we're done with the trail and we're done with lunch here at Dylan's. Um, most of the group uh, went our separate ways except for me and uh, husband and wife. Um, they decided to have lunch with me. So uh, we sat down, had a nice meal, sat outside, watched their have a roping competition today. So we sat outside and had lunch and watched them do their roping and their rodeo stuff and um, definitely a nice wheeling day and a nice afternoon so now we're gonna head home and um, probably start working on the video at least download them and see what kind of footage I got and maybe start editing it and then uh, trying to get ready to uh, upload it to YouTube so but we had a great day um, beautiful it's see what the temperature is right now the Jeep says it's 75 but once I start rolling if it's warmer it'll probably go up so we'll see but uh, that's it for this one and it may be Christmas is next weekend and then New Year's so probably won't be another video till sometime in January when another run comes up that's on a weekend so um, look for one then but anyway y'all have a good one and we'll catch you in the next one <laughs>